Robbie Harry Haynes, yeah. what has the what has the message been since you got here last week from I understand it was the big review kind of looking back on the New Zealand game before you came out here. What has the big message been since then? Yeah, I mean we we're always looking to build. Um always looking to learn from from past experiences, uh, positive and, and negative. But um yeah, listen, there's there's loads to go for the group and there's loads of improvement um needed and I think we've all recognised that, um, players and staff that, you know, we can we can definitely keep driving it on and, and keep getting better as a group. Um with a game like France away first up, like it, it doesn't necessarily give you the opportunity to, to build your way into the tournament. Just how kind of close to your best do you have to be from, from week one? Yeah, one hundred percent. I think it's it's one of the toughest games playing France away. Um definitely down in down in Marseille as well is going to be a new challenge for, for everyone. Um a handful of us have played there before. Um it's it's a it's an intense environment and um I suppose France you know, the force that they're going to bring out, we need to be at our best um, to deal with that um, that environment and, and, and that team. So, yeah, um, last week has been a good prep and leading into a, short, a shorter week this week. But, you know, it's really positive uh, from our end and, yeah, we're, we're really excited to get getting going. Coming in after a World Cup campaign, is there ever a bit of a, an unknown quantity about teams where you're not really sure maybe what tweaks they're making post World Cup and you probably don't have that, that body of evidence to, to go off? Yeah, I suppose it's you look back at, at, at what what they produced in in the World Cup, and you even look back to to the games they played in, in the Six Nations uh, last year. So, do a bit of review on that, and then also having a good eye on on what the club, the French clubs, are producing. Uh, so, looking at any trends, things like that in, in the in the club game, because a lot of the, a lot of the French players play play club rugby there. So, yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it is. It, they might bring something different. I suppose every team will might might change their their plan a little bit. So we, we need to be adaptable and and we need to be ready for if they do throw something something different that we haven't seen. And we need to be ready. Well, one one thing that will definitely be different is the velodrome rather than the the Stade de France. Hmm. How much are you looking forward to just that? Like it's a very novel experience for Six Nations where it's a stadium. I know you've played there hmm. in Leinster, but that's a very very different type of crowd to. Yeah. What you're going to have on Friday night? Yeah, it's 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 an incredible stadium. Um, I saw there was a few few World Cup games there that were held there, and um, you know the as opposed to playing in, in Stade de France, it's it's a very um, it's a tight stadium in terms of it's obviously a football football pitch and the the, the crowd is, is right there in your face. Um, so it's a it's a tight stadium and it's and it's quite. It can be intimidating at times when it's when the crowd are up. Um, so yeah, we we got to experience that playing playing for Leinster a couple of, a couple of seasons ago, and it was was different. And just finally for me, then as as ever with the centre, there's heaps of competition to get in between yourself, Bundy, Stuart McCluskey, and, and Gary as well. Hmm. How how do you have to kind of set your expectations going into a week like that when you know there's there's so many top quality centres and there's only really two spots to go around? Sorry yeah. Bench place, maybe. yeah, it's 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 great to have competition. I suppose that's what drives you on as a player is to keep trying to get the best out of yourself um, and out of the team. Um, you know, for us, uh, for me individually, it's, it's doing my best on the training pitch and um, you know being confident that what I've done over the last last few months in in club rugby with Leinster has been has been good to hopefully put my hand up. So um, yeah, f- feeling good, uh, feeling confident and. As I said, all the lads in, in the centre jersey are, are all competing, so that definitely drives our performance. Have you offered to play on the wing? No, uh, no I, the last time I played in the wing, I'd say it was, was under 10s. So, uh, <laughs> no, I, not, not, not as such. Um, yeah, just uh, 12 or 13 for the moment. Any preview, um, Robbie, of this tournament will say, will ask the question, how will Ireland cope with life after Johnny Sexton? Mm-hmm. How would you reply to that question? Um, I think it's it's um, it's obviously going to be tough to uh, to replace uh, Johnny, but I think we've picked uh, Pete as, as captain. He's he's led the group unbelievably well, uh, not only just now but over the last you know five or six seasons. He's been an incredible leader in this in this team. So I think um, we have a great leader there in our captain, and he's 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 driving it on from his his end. And I think it, 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 there's an onus on a lot of players. To I suppose step up and and to be, 
you know, vocal and, and lead by example. And um, you know, it's a great challenge for this group. Um, you know, coming into uh, fresh Six Nations and you know to to build that leadership. Playing terms, the number ten role indications seem that it's Jack who, who started anyway. Um, are you confident if it is him, he can handle the job? Yeah, he's Jack's been playing brilliant for Munster. Um, you know, he's been he's been running things very well down there. He's had a, a bit of a, a bit of experience over the last season as well uh, in the World Cup and in the in the pre pre World Cup warm ups. He, he played very well uh, against Italy and against Samoa. So he definitely has he has good experience and um, you know I think he's he's going to be brilliant in terms of he's trained really well. Uh, he's he's really confident and he's he's stepping up. It's a personality position though as well, isn't it? And do you think Jack has the right personality for that role? He does, he's grown. Um, you know, he's still very young. Um, and like we're all learning in this environment, you're always, you're always uh, you know, learn new things uh, every season, uh, every game you play. So it's, it's, we're always developing as players and, and Jack, will, Jack and the other tens will continue to develop um, w- with that experience and uh, his, his, I suppose as I said, his, his confidence has been really good and he's been, he's been running things really well in training. Just last one for me then, you had massive belief in the World Cup going into that quarter-final. Is there any fear that that belief would have been damaged by what happened that night and going into the Six Nations now? From my, from my end, I don't think so. Um, it's, it's really exciting. I think you don't get a better fixture to, to travel away and play France away. It's, it's one of the best, best games to be involved in. So, you know, that excites this whole group. And I think, you know, the belief that we have is, is sky high here. And I think... We trust in, in our game plan, trust in our players and trust in the team um, as well. It's, you know, we're, we're just looking really forward to it. I think our travelling support, we, we definitely need that going this weekend. And what we had over the, the World Cup, I, I've never seen before. So uh, fingers crossed we'll have something similar to that in, in Marseille on Friday night. Can it, can it be a motivation? What happened at the World Cup in terms? Absolutely, of yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of guys are hungry uh, to, as I said, to, to drive it on and, and go again. Um, and a lot of players have, have played a lot of rugby since since that New Zealand game. Guys are feeling confident. Guys are fit. So yeah, we're definitely eager to, to get out there and, and drive on again. How helpful is this environment to help set you up for the Six Nations tournament? It's been brilliant. I think uh, for us to to be lucky enough to get out here and train in Portugal um, we're, we're so lucky to be here and, and to train in, in such good conditions and such a great environment um, and great setup so we're, we're lucky to be here and, and it's a good I suppose feel good camp uh, going into a tough game uh, on Friday night so it's, it's everything is, is really positive What have you learned about yourself and the wider since that uh, defeat in New Zealand in the World Cup and do you feel it's helped improve you as a player? Absolutely, I think the learnings from that game is you know you need to take your opportunities when they come. Um, you know, a lot of the games, those knockout games, are one-score games. So it's also about us being clinical, um, you know, and and defensively being rock solid in defence. Because um, if you do give teams um, any space, they, they will take it at this level. So definitely, it's a it's a few gears up from from club level, and we all know that it's um, you know you just need to take your opportunities when they come. Thanks, Robbie.